Washington, after years of activism and a brief kerfuffle over budget technicalities, the Senate passed the PACT Act, a bill that provides easier access to medical care for veterans exposed to toxic burn pits. The Senate passed the bill by a vote of 86 to 11 Tuesday sending it to President Joe Biden. Republican cast all 11 votes against the bill. This Senate is going to pass the most significant expansion of veteran health care benefits in generations, said Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, on the Senate floor before the vote. This is a very good day, a long-awaited day, a day that should have happened long ago. Burn pits, open-air trash sites that dispose of military waste through burning, have exposed an estimated 3. 5 million veterans to toxic chemicals that could result in respiratory illness or various forms of C. Veterans who have illnesses from being exposed to burn pits are frequently denied disability benefits and medical care due to lack of concrete evidence directly linking burn pits with illness. More, Senate passes Pact Act, latest effort in years-long fight to help veterans exposed to toxic burn pits the bill. Named the PACT Act, would remedy that by codifying a relationship between specific illness and cancers with burn pits, lifting the burden of proof on veterans to receive benefits. With that direct link established, the bill will provide much easier access to health care and disability benefits to the estimated 3. 5 million exposed veterans who had to previously argue with the Department of Veterans Affairs about their illnesses. I don't know for sure if the burn pit that he while research is still being conducted to establish a direct correlation between burn pits and illness, activists and Biden have both said action is needed now instead of waiting. Visiting a Veterans Affair clinic in Fort Worth, Texas, in March, Biden emphasized the importance of some form of legislation on burn pits, 